Over here. So you the scary motherfucker who gonna deal with Junior Holland. Nice to meet you too, lady. Set it down. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior before he decided to bring us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. Died in the cell upstate around Eastern. Oh. Sorry. He shouldn't have got caught. Junior's running cars out of the Vessel gas station around the way. Got some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, he even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the cars going? He sells some here, but knowing how many nice new rides gone missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. Junior's boys don't scare easy, but you still need to get some of Candace in. You got that little speed freak Junior stayed up out here. Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> an old friend with an E out at the best oil, and he won't leave until he can get the business right. <laughs> Never heard of Junior Holland being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano, that'll light a fire into your ass. Dad, and all the speed he's on. When you whip his ass, tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Gina. Junior's a dirty, backstabbing piece of shit. Go get him. You don't think Junior's been acting a little extra jumpy lately? With all the losses we've been suffering? My well, he's been at that speed again. He's got it in his head, big colored motherfuckers. Huh?
Got a body here. That him? Shit. Check the other side. Ain't worth our time. Let him run. Dumb fuck. Can you spare some of your crew to hold Tick Fall? Yeah, okay. But if you asking me to commit the lives of my men here, then I expect you to commit to me. And remember this road was setting out on in the here and now. Hey, Mr. Clay, look over there. 
One of those cars has one of them fancy air track tape players in it. I think you've been waiting for me. Yeah. Pablo Duarte, you're with the company? Not exactly. There gonna be a problem. If you can help keep money from going to those communist bastards in Cuba, then no. You with the Cuban Revolutionary Council? I made it through that disaster back in 61. Ended up here. I still have connections, though. It's how Frank Pagani's smuggling operation got on my radar. His man, Pops Holland, runs the freight yard. Does a lot of business with Havana. <laughs> All that commie talk about common ownership is so much bullshit it's sickening. Those hijos de puta only care about money. Since losing River Row, Pops has had to resort to airdrops. They move them around, so you'll have to find out where they're happening. I'm sure Pops' people will be more than happy to help me out. I'll be back, Pablo. The fuckers working for Pops Holland Someone in Holland's organization has seen on the airdrops. Find him. Jude. You somehow managed to be so seriously fucked things to you. Best way to make a crook squirm is to hurt his money. Huh. Yeah. I heard Frank Pagani told Pops to get his ass back to the freight yard. Pops isn't going anywhere until you're dealt with. I understand he's a hard motherfucker. He's a survivor. Thanks for looking out, Pablo. But I dealt with a lot worse than Pops. Go get that commie loving piece of... With you fucking up the airdrops, the people back in Havana are going to have to be way more careful about how they smuggle shit in.
Just a little motherfucker. Son of a bitch! There! Get him! Run him for cover! Got nowhere to go! gonna hold tick for harbor i'm gonna need some of you guys my men can secure this district with one eye closed that's not a problem the problem will come if you try to take it away from us at our next sit down
How are you, sir? Are really strong and no one is going to...